All right, hello, good students. Welcome back to class. Oh, we have a very lovely question before us, and this question you should know the topic is coming from by now because we have done uh, a lot of topic in uh, heat and the uh, kinetic theory. We have done a lot of things today, and I just want to solve this question. Maybe by the grace of God, I'll be solving other questions as well. So please try and understand what we are trying to do here. Try and understand this uh, explanation I'll be giving here today. If you know you have not subscribed to this channel, please try and do so. And uh, if you know uh, you have not uh, watched not watch this topic is you can go back and watch the topic again and which topic are we talking about here this topic is from tama expansivity this, que this question is from tama the topic tama expansivity so we need tama expansivity we need linear expansivity area expansivity and volume expansivity now, what is the question? The question is, the length of brass and an aluminum wire is 500 meters at zero degree Celsius. Full stop. Determine the difference in their length at 30 degree Celsius. That is all. That is all. Now, what are they trying to see? Okay, they said, alpha for brass, remember I told you, Alpha is for coefficient of linear responsivity. So for brass, alpha is 1.9 times power minus 10 per Kelvin. Aluminium is 2.4 times 10 power minus 5 per Kelvin. 1.9 times 10 power minus 5 for alpha. Then 2.4 times 10 power minus 5 for aluminium. So if both of them uh, 500 meters at zero degree Celsius. What will not happen at zero degree Celsius? At zero degree, they are going to expand, but they are going to expand in different ways to out to different lengths at 30 degree Celsius. The reason is because both of them have different coefficients of linear expansivity. That's the problem. So the higher the linear expansivity, the higher the expansion that will be experienced. So, for example, now, this aluminum that have a higher linear responsibility than brass will expand more than brass at this 30 degrees Celsius. So, this is going to expand more than this. So that means the higher the coefficient of thermal linear responsibility, the higher the expansion that material will experience. That is just it. So, to resolve this question now, they said at 0 degrees Celsius, both of them were 500 meters so what would be the difference between their two lengths at 30 degree Celsius? so what we are going to do we are going to solve for the length of both of them at 30 degree Celsius and find the difference difference means subtract the length from each other remember in mathematics difference means sub, uh, subtraction if you can still remember that so from here remember alpha for uh, aluminium is dx alpha for brass is dx. Then the first length of aluminium and brass were the same. Then the first temperature, that is theta 1, was 0 degrees Celsius. Then the te temperature is theta 2, that is final temperature, is te was 30 degrees Celsius. So, if you find, if you convert both of these, both uh, temperature to Kelvin, let's say you convert this and this to Kelvin, and you find the difference in temperature, will still be the same thing as if you don't convert at all. So the difference in temperature now, the difference in temperature, the, the change in temperature is 30 minus 0. 30 minus 0. Which is uh, 30 minus 0 will give us 30 as well. So you set that in degrees Celsius or you pull Kelvin. Because you, if you convert both of them to Kelvin, you still have 30 Kelvin. That's like this. So... The difference in what is our the length of aluminium 
at tattoo length of brass at tattoo that is l a2 l b2 this length of brass that is final length length of aluminium the final length of aluminium that is at t tattoo that is at this stage you just show you this this so the difference is they are both length that is both different they are both final lengths so I mean difference in the length of aluminium and brass that is the final length of aluminium final length of brass would be final length of aluminium minus final length of brass so let's look at the difference in length now to see what so we record that final length is equals to initial length bracket one plus latent passivity times change in temperature from the derivation we did before in our last class for linear passivity the time passivity we did if you have not uh, 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 attended that cl uh, class or watched that video you can go back and watch it Tama expansion by the best academy so you can just browse it and watch then we have l2 is equal to l1 bracket 1 plus alpha change data l2 means final length l1 means initial length alpha means time passivity change the time change temperature so what we are going to do now we're going to do put a for aluminium first then we'll do put for brass you can put anywhere you like so if i'm putting brass here now if i'm putting aluminium here that will be f for aluminium the final length of aluminium that means la2 means final length of aluminium la1 means initial length of aluminium that is la2 will be equal to la1 bracket 1 plus alpha a change it alpha a means linear responsibility and uh, equation of linear responsibility for aluminium the same thing for brass Two will be equal to brass one, one plus alpha for brass change it. Alpha for brass means uh, uh, coefficient of linear probability for brass. The next thing, uh, you can just put. Remember if the their initial length, which is one, was five hundred. Can you put five hundred there? Put five hundred there. Then remember the values of uh, the respective values of alpha a. That is the coefficient of linear probability for aluminium, and the coefficient of linear probability for brass. You can still remember the the, their respective values. You can just substitute them here. Then change the temperature is 30, substitute the temperature here. Then you write the answers out and subtract the two. You will get the uh, uh, final answer. Or if you just decide to just solve everything, since you are, if you are using cash calculator, you decide to solve everything inside your cash calculator, you still get the same thing at once. So what we are going to do now, we are doing the, the, the difference in the, the length of uh, aluminium and brass. That's what we are looking at, the difference in their length. So to find to find different length, you have to remove the brass from aluminium, which is this minus this. So that's what we did here. Just write aluminium minus brass. Just this minus this. That's what that's what we did. So we just write aluminium out, then minus that of brass, which is this. The next thing is to substitute the value, our respective values for uh, aluminium. We are having the. Uh, 500 brass is still 5. Both of them initial length is 500, 500. So this is this. Then we have one alpha change theta. So put for alpha for aluminium here, put for alpha for brass here. Yeah. Theta is 30 for both of them. So the next thing, carry the calculator, press 500 bracket 1 plus 2.4 exponential minus 5 times 30 bracket close minus 500 bracket. 1 plus 1.9 exponential minus 5 times 30 bracket close press equal to they have 0 0.075 meters that is will be the difference between their lengths at 30 degree Celsius I hope you gain something from this class thank you you can watch the video again to get a more explanation uh, because this, not, this is not just a straightforward question in linear passivity so you know what they are asking you to calculate. Yeah. God bless you.